Hello, boys and girls, welcome back to this brand new Canvas tutorial series video. In this Canvas video, I'm going to show you how to create awesome and stunning uh, graphics, data graphics, data elements in Canvas by using data and values in JavaScript. Have fun watching the video right now and let's go. All right, so first things first, we're going to start with the basic of the um, HTML here. I included the canvas inside my HTML and I added some basic stuff like canvas width and height and background here inside the main.js. All right, so here we go. First things first, we're gonna say that the context um, dot begin path is always necessary to um, throw something inside the canvas. And of course, in the end, we need to canvas dot uh, close path again. All right, and then between that two functions, the magic will happen. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the context dot um, move to, and here we're gonna start to move to zero, zero, and we're gonna create the function uh, line two. And actually, if we're gonna create a line, we can say that the canvas width and the canvas weight height are the point where we were going to draw a line. To draw that line, we need to say context.stroke in the end. And now as you can see, we're going to draw a line from 00, zero to window uh, canvas.width, canvas.height. Canvas will take the whole width and height of the window. So actually we can specify and uh, drawing lines for our data graphs here right now. First things first is we're going to create um, you can easily start creating lines. For example, you go to, um, for example, here we go to, the width will be zero and the canvas height will be something like 250. And here we can create some more stuff, 50, um, 100, and 150. And here we're gonna basically change the values, for example, 180, 240, and 200. And now it looks like this. And basically you can go on and go on to create a full graph. But of course this is hard coded and that's not good. We want to uh, change the code by getting real values. And with real values, I with real values, I mean here we're gonna create an array which contains all the values. So for example, we're gonna take some, I'm gonna copy this here first take some stuff here. Um, that's about 10 values here we're gonna create. And actually, um, inside this, we're gonna work with this values here right now. So what we need to do first is we need to um, get rid of this. And we need to specify some variables. So for example, we're gonna say start value is equal to data at index number zero. And of course, we need to say the distance between the, the different values because we have 10. We need to get the same distance between every value. It's going to be the canvas.width um, divided by the data.length. Okay. And actually, we need the start um, point. Let's call it start point. is equal to zero. All right, um, what we can do here right now is we can just move to the um, start point. And here we're gonna move to the um, start value. So actually we are at 200. And so the start value will be something like start point is zero. So we will be in the width of zero. So we will be here and the height will be on 200. So we will be here in this area here right now. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do something for every element of the data. So actually, um, we're gonna call the function data dot for each, and we're gonna do something for each element. So first things first, we're gonna lock um, the element to see what happens here. And as you can see, it will lock all ten values. That's pretty cool. Um, actually, what we need to do here is we need to um, context.line2 and inside this we need to get some yeah some variables here um, 
we're going to change this now. Um, what we need to calculate is we need to get a new distance. And let's name it new distance. And this is e equal to the um, start point. Start point. Um, plus the, um, actually the distance we calculated in the beginning. Um, multiply it with the index plus one because index starts at zero. And of course we need to get the index here as well. So what we need to do is we can console.log that new distance. And now you will see that it calculates the distance. And actually what we can do next is we just can get that new distance inside of this. And here we're gonna draw the, the value of the element. And now, as you can see, if I refresh the page, you will get um, the distance. This, you will see the distance is always the distance between the two points. So this is the distance, this is the distance, this is the distance, and the value is the height. And the distance is the width. And this will work responsive. That's the reason why we calculate that distance in the beginning here right now. Uh, hopefully this is something like this here. So as you can see, this will work responsive and yeah. Cool, cool stuff here right now. All right, but we are not ready yet. We just can do some um, stuff to uh, style that things here right now. And for example, we just can say context.line context line width is equal to three, for example, and it will get bigger. And we can say, for example, context.stroke style is equal to, yeah, let's get a light red. For example, something like this. Yeah, that's uh, what we can do here right now. And of course, you can change the background color. You have to do this here after the element is true. So you have to say context.fill style is equal to, let's get something like a gray. I don't know. And of course, to draw to fill this is you need to context.fill and call that function. So as you can see now, it fills the the background of the of the canvas of the graph and actually maybe you want to get the background and from the uh, points to the bottom so you have to um, draw the lines here as well so now you are here you need to draw the line to this point then to this point and then to this point so let's do this pretty simple so it just can say context.line2 and you need it three times. And the first thing is you need to say canvas um, dot width, I think, and canvas dot height. So actually, um, oh, we need to press canvas. So actually, basically, oh, um, basically it looks like this. It will get a point to this point here. And now we need to point to this point. So we're going to throw this to zero and canvas dot height. Actually, you can go to start point instead, instead. And now you need to get on the top again. And that's what you do here. Uh, you can easily say start point here. I don't know why I did that. Start point and here you can take start value. All right, so now you get the full border around and you can see your um, canvas graph element here and actually if you change something for example you change this to 300 you'll automatically change the graph of that that's pretty cool pretty awesome let's get back of this all right boys and girls i hope you guys liked this video if you want to see more canvas stories and more web development and app development videos on my channel please subscribe to the channel hope to see you in the next video bye